Hey, well, this is uh, it's a pleasant surprise. Hi, how's my little boy? How are you, buddy? Oh, he was uh, a little bouncy in the lobby, but I think it's because he knew he was going to see his dad. Well, yeah, of course he was a little bouncy in the lobby. How's Jess doing? Not so good. You know, she and Ford may have had their ups and downs, but she loved him. Anyway, I wanted to stay with her, but uh, she asked me, actually. She insisted that I, I come here so that I could um, have that talk with you. She said that we shouldn't wait. That she'd be right. So what do you think, Liam? Should Mommy and Daddy have a talk? What was that? Yesterday? Yesterday we should have had that talk. Uh, Yesterday? Oh, 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 we should have had the talk last month. I think somebody might need a nap. And you know what? I got him. Well. And, uh, you better be here when I get back. And turn your phone off. For that matter, turn mine off. happened I'm just I thank God you're okay and that our little boy is happy and healthy yeah me too that's because of you you saved me from where I'm standing you saved me okay maybe I, I helped a little does that mean we don't have to have this talk no no um I need to say this, and um, I need you to hear it. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, Here? Yeah. So, uh, thanks. That night at Rhodey's, when you, when you had that talk with Roxy, I was there, and I heard you tell Roxy that you didn't love me anymore. No, I know, and... And uh, I left right after you said that. And the next thing I know, I accepted Brody's proposal, and <sighs> later on to find out from Roxy that you, in fact, did still love me, and I know that's what you've been trying to tell me all this time. So why didn't you let me? Because I was mad at you. You were going to let me marry someone else. What is wrong with you? Hey, you know, when we said we are going to have this talk, I didn't realize you were going to yell at me. Yeah, well, you deserve it! You know, you were going to let me walk down the aisle with Brody. You know, kind of piss me off. I can see that. John, the most important thing is... I need to know that you'd fight for me. You don't know that? I was... I was hurt. Even after you found out the truth? Well, you know, Roxy's not the most reliable source, and for all I knew, there was a big... But, after whatever it is you told her. This is why you want to leave well enough alone. I was scared. I lied to you. And even if you did still love me, that... I didn't know if you could forgive me. <laughs> so now, you know why I didn't want to talk. I was at my worst. I was full of pride. I was stubborn, scared. I lied to you. And even if at the time I thought it was for all the right reasons, I was willing to marry you with that lie between us. And that is something that I never wanted to do. And I am ashamed of that. I didn't. I didn't trust you enough to tell you the truth. <sighs> but I didn't want to lose you. So I guess you can add coward to that list, too. Are you done? Well, that depends. Can you forgive me? Are you gonna let me talk? You're not wrong about me. Uh, I was angry. 
I don't like to be lied to. Especially by someone that means as much to me. I'm so sorry. I mean, does that mean that we can't get past this? You made a serious mistake. But I could have handled it better. I drank too much too often, I slept with someone else, and I did all that to hurt you. I couldn't handle thinking that Liam wasn't mine. I look back at myself. And I see someone I don't even recognize, and I am ashamed of that. I took a bad situation, and I made it worse. I failed you, and I failed Liam, and I failed myself. You want to know if I can, if I can forgive you? Real question is, can you forgive me? You want to know if I forgive you? If you can find it in your heart. Yeah, of course. Of course I can. Of course. I mean, but do you forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. All that matters is now. You still want me? Yes. <laughs> yes. And bring those lips here. perfect either. But I do know that I don't want to do this without you. It's not the same. Not me neither. Natalie. You don't have to say it. And I don't have to say it. You know, once in a while, you're gonna have to shut up. I mean, you did this to me, you know? You got me started. <laughs>